If you have a personal craft of any sort, then I think you'll understand this struggle. Without a doubt, I think we can all get caught up with social media. I'm a track athlete, and as I scroll online, I'll see track and field performances and accomplishments that are truly exciting. However, I might see a post of a colleague earning a new personal best, and that might make me feel overdue in wanting to post a personal best of my own, driving a sense of competitiveness and imposter syndrome. On the other hand, there are legitimate benefits, mental and physical, for having a seriously enjoyable craft. I feel as if at some point in any person's passion, they'll bounce between a desire to be better and an appreciation for what they already have. Five years ago, I entered college with one goal of competing in a decathlon. Last week, I graduated with my master's having also never competed in a decathlon. During those five years, I spent two in a pandemic without a facility, training on my own, only to return to many closed or limited facilities. I transferred institutions, had three different coaching staffs, bounced back from two intense illnesses, had countless injuries. Even then, there were several decathlons I was mistakenly never enrolled in or were ultimately canceled. Yet, something about the craft kept bringing me back. Even when feeling like life was pushing me away from the sport, I trained and trained sometimes for several hours or multiple sessions in one day, which maybe is a little insane and unhealthy, but I loved it. I would also feel disappointed in the lack of achievements and then I would appreciate the privilege and opportunity. On and on for five years, I had this back and forth battle between myself. Now my college career is over and there feels a stalemate, but also a realization. Like I said, something about the craft kept bringing me back, but really it was something greater. Oh yeah, Zello! Woo! Teammates, competitors, and coaches, maybe like you watching right now, from throughout my entire athletic career. Come on, Pierce! Yeah! Behind every event, every new personal best, every injury, every high, every low, every competition, in any city at any time, I built fantastic, unforgettable memories alongside everyone. Okay, good stuff. I might feel as if I was running in place for the second half of a decade, but what I enjoyed most every time I returned were all the people that could join me in that excitement. What? People like you helped me grow and make athletics memorable and impactful for me. So typically on social media, especially within the sport track and field, people post their personal bests, highlighting their unique skill sets. Um, however, as a personal best post for my season, I want to give a thank you to everyone that has been part of my entire track and field collegiate career and even before that. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much and I can't say anything more than thank you so much for being part of my track and field career.